With his mother and girlfriend beside him on what was supposed to be one of the most important days of his life, Jacob swelled with pride. But when it was his turn to go up, the principal paused. Picking Jacob out in the crowd, he smugly shot him a look and then moved on to the next name on the list. But when everyone found out why the principal had nixed Jacob from his own graduation ceremony, they were outraged. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot. And here is High School Throws Marine Out Over His Outfit, But He Gets the Last Laugh. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Jacob Dalton Stanley from Crown Point, Indiana was a student at Crown Point High School. Since he was a boy, he wanted to serve his country and dreamed of becoming a sergeant one day. He expressed his desire to join the U.S. Army when he was only 10 years old. He wanted to be just like his father, but nobody expected this to come of it. Jacob worked diligently at his studies and completed his high school requirements months in advance so he could pursue his dream. When he completed his studies, he promptly enlisted in the Marines. He finished boot camp right in time to fly back to Indiana to attend his high school graduation ceremony. Little did he know it wouldn't go as planned. Shannon, Jacob's high school sweetheart, was waiting for him. She and his mother, Kathy, were ecstatic to have him home again. And when he showed them his Marine Corps uniform, his mother couldn't have been prouder. She was in awe of what her son had achieved in just a few months. And as the cherry on top, he was about to receive his high school diploma. As Kathy, Jacob and Shannon made their way to Jacob's high school. They were thrilled that all his hard work had finally paid off. Jacob was excited to be presented with his diploma in front of his friends and family. He'd earned it. His entire life lay in front of him. Nothing he thought could take this away from him. Jacob was greeted with congratulations and salutes from friends and teachers. The excitement in the air was palpable as students and their parents flooded the stands in their gowns and caps. But it was the reaction to what Jacob decided to wear to the ceremony that, for some, would push things way too far. The principal of Crown Point High School, Chip Pettit, took the stage and tapped on his mic. Fumbling through his notes, he began his opening speech to a sea of enthusiastic young faces. Then he began to call out names in alphabetical order. But it wouldn't be long before students and parents alike would be recoiling in shock. When Mr. Pettit reached the S's, Kathy squeezed Jacob's hand and beamed up at him. He took a last look at his acceptance speech. He'd prepared and practiced it until it was perfect. Stepping forward, he readied himself to walk up to the stage. But just as Mr. Pettit reached his last name on the list, he paused. Searching for and picking Jacob out in the crowd, Mr. Pettit's eyes met him and he smugly shot him a look. Then he moved on to the next name on the list without reading Jacob's. Jacob's face fell for a moment in disbelief and the crowd went quiet. Surely this was a mistake. Why had Jacob's name been omitted? Jacob had shown up to the ceremony wearing his full dress blue Marine Corps uniform. And after putting his life on the line to serve his country, this is how he was treated? And what infuriated Kathy the most was that there were other students who were violating the graduation dress code too. Why was Jacob being singled out? It was a disgrace, Kathy later said in an interview. There was one student who wore shorts and gym shoes, and another student who wore a red turban symbolizing his religious views. And to make matters worse, there was nothing in the Crown Point Community School Corps bylaws that addressed whether U.S. military uniforms could be worn at graduation. Everyone was outraged. The situation was absolutely ridiculous, said Leanne Tustison, a peer of Jacobs. He's in the military putting his life on the line for us. It's unacceptable that he was not allowed to walk across the stage. The students were outraged, she added. There were some students who were going to walk in solidarity with Jake, and the backlash didn't stop there. Crystal Hernandez, who heard about the story, took to Facebook. It amazes me that all through life, people are always telling you to be proud that you're different, celebrate your uniqueness. Yet at one of the most memorable events in your life, an administrator makes the decision to completely destroy your accomplishments, she wrote. Shame on you, CPHS and Chip Pettit. But Mr. Pettit had more than the ire of the community contend with. I sent Mr. Pettit a letter today, one angry Facebook user wrote. I know of people who are pulling all financial support of CPHS and their programs over this. If that were my son, I would have escorted him across the stage. But what did Mr. Pettit have to say? Well, according to him, Jacob had been warned. When Jacob participated in his Crown Point High School senior class graduation rehearsal earlier that day, 
Mr. Pettit had informed him that he wouldn't be allowed to wear his uniform to the ceremony. And, to Jacob's shock, the principal was true to his word. Although Mr. Pettit has received an enormous amount of backlash, he insists that he was only enforcing school policy. Do you think this was fair?